Hello, Facebook. Happy Friday. Looks like we've got YouTube to the party, too. Hey, Christina. Happy Friday. All right. I'm seeing myself on device number one. Hey, Margaret from Bloomington, Illinois. I'm glad you're here. Give me some thumbs up or some comments. Let me know if you can hear me. Hey, Nancy. Happy Friday. We're in video number four of a five part series. And I've got lots of news for you guys today. So buckle up for some housekeeping. I'm just looking for myself on YouTube on another device here. Let's see. There I am. All right. Christina says, cute, cute card. Hey, Mimi, happy Friday. <laughs> Christina says, happy Friday. Oh, that just made me smile. <laughs> Lisa Tabor says, hello from Ontario. Hey. All right. I think we're, I think we're doing it here. Got comments going. I think you guys can hear me. I've got comments flowing on one device so far. One and a half almost. Let's see about Facebook over here. Oh dear. Come on, Facebook. I'm not down with what you just did. There we go. Now I'm good. Hey, Jessica. Niz says, yes, can't wait for part number four out of five. Tony shared. Thank you, Tony. Tony, our cotton candy gumball box is next Thursday. It'll be the challenge for the craft along. I saw your message today, but I'm scrambling. You'll know more about why in the housekeeping segment of this presentation. Hey, Marsha from St. Louis. Happy Friday. <laughs> Nancy says, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Oh, did you notice something? Did you notice something over here, Nancy? Nancy, is this my, what you have been referring to? You're liking what you're seeing? Yes. There is a new kitchen table stamper reference coming. Um, if you know that one of the things that I love to do for myself is put together tools that make my crafting easier. And so I have put together this Color Buddies reference guide, and it is going to be included in the In Color Club. You guys have been asking about In Color Club. We are totally doing In Color Club, and we're doing a paper sampler. So I'll give you some housekeeping about those two things, then we'll get started. One of the other um, resources that we provide at kitchentablestamper.com, in case you're new, are shortcut card sketches. I believe there are um, four exclusive for card club members and 12 public shortcut card sketches right now. We also do wonder recipes like, that are one sheet wonder cutting diagrams. So we like to make these resources. They help me so much and I hope that they help you too. More about our Color Buddies reference guide. Run a little sneak peek. No, I, I'm, we're still working on some of the inside pages, but let me show you a little bit about this guide. So this is gonna come with In Color Club. We have two levels and it doesn't matter which level you choose, you're gonna get your Color Buddies reference guide. And inside of here is going to be in the little inside pocket, a cardstock swatch book that you can put together. All right, so that'll be in there. And then we're gonna have some training on some color information and stuff. And then all of these little ribbons up here, you'll use your in color ribbon to make the tab to turn to whatever page colors you're trying to work with. So this will work like your tabs. And the fun thing about this book is it's expandable. So you can add 2025, 2027, in colors into this book also. So it'll serve for two years in In Color Club and we can build and add on to it, which is kind of one of the nice things about these resources. Like new sketches keep coming out and you can add them to your notebook and new wonder recipes keep coming out. We will keep supporting this um, Color Buddies reference guide for you. We're already planning for the new in colors. All right, so that's the <laughs> That's a little sneak peek there. Let me catch up on your comments. Tony says, bummer, but I'll still have time to make them. 
I um, can definitely private message you um, with the box that I'm using because you know, Tony, I've been doing um, the, I've been kind of reintroducing my boxes as um, a series of, of useful boxes and I think I've used this one before. So if you want a template, maybe I can private message you so you can get a, get a jump start. Are you making them for a craft fair or something? I don't know what you're doing them for, but I know you mass produce lots, as long as you still have time though. But Thursday we'll have the um, cotton candy treat box. All right, so that leads me into another just little bit of housekeeping here. If you're new and you're just joining us, let me show you the series. You're joining us in a series of five videos, and this is video number four in the series. So let's see here. Today we're gonna do shortcut card sketch number four. And this is our project. You brighten my days. And then um, if you missed, this was video number one. We made the sprinkled with love card. Video number two, we made the sweet little donut box. Video number three, we made this fun pencil sleeve. Now the donut box and the pencil sleeve were our challenges on the craft social last week. And I do believe that right behind me is my Aunt Mare going through and choosing prize patrols for those challenges. You saw I did too, right, Auntie Mare? Yeah, so those, um, these were our challenges for last week and they were video two, three in the series. This is video number four in the series. And then Thursday, I'll be back at 2 p.m. with a live. We're going to make this fun cotton candy gift box. And the cotton candy gift box is perfect for one of these cotton candy bubblegum sleeves from Double Bubble. All right, so that's the series and the rest of the schedule. There is an offer that goes with this series. Let me move aside my shortcut card sketch for a minute. If you're um, ready to help me better my best, Stampin' Up! has a challenge going on for demonstrators that can better their best April sales. We're getting so close, by the way. We have far exceeded what I can produce in packets, class packets, based on my pre-order limits. So quick housekeeping on these packets. They will go out after I return from the incentive trip because I cannot order enough pre-order materials. If you don't know, Stampin' Up! demonstrators have limits on how many consumable pre-order products they can um, order and I've already maxed out my limit and can't even come close to how much support you guys have given me. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your orders. All right, here's the deal. Order of $150. Don't use any host code. Just go to marissaelvarez.stampinup.net. Place that $150 order. You use the host rewards to get carnival treats. Now this is available while supplies last and I've been so busy with the In Color Club I haven't looked to see if it's still available today. So if anybody wants to check it out and leave it in the comments if this one's still available, I'd love to have that information. I just haven't had any time. We're scrambling on In Color Club's details. So um, Carnival Treats is a host item. If it's still available, you'll use your host rewards to redeem 162937. Stampin' Up! will give you the stamp set for free. I'll give you the class packet for free with a $150 order to help me better my best. There is a clearance rack refresh coming and you're welcome to combine my offer with Stampin' Up's offer. That's all I'm saying about that. Um, Tony says it's still available. Thank you for checking, Tony. All right, so uh, Nancy says, question, have you made your goal yet? No, but we are totally within the possibility, the realm of possibility. You guys have done so much to help me better my best and I so appreciate it. I hope you guys love this class. Now, I can place the order for the rest of the supplies I need to make these packets as early as May 1st, but I will be in Mexico until May 11th. So please be aware that these packets will be produced, cut, packed, mailed after I get back on the 11th. So don't expect to see them until a little bit later in May. I just can't order any more resources right now to, to push it. And so just know that that's coming. I still love and appreciate you. 
your packet, if you choose to do this, will still at this point include all of the treats. I haven't run out of any, but the donuts and the popcorn pencil and the bubble gum will be included in your class packet as long as I have the treats available. Um, frankly, I can still order both the donuts and the bubble gum, so your class packet will include those. Um, it's the pencil that I'm a little concerned about. I don't know if that one is available on Amazon right now. So just that's, that's the deal. I hope that you'll take me up on it if you like these projects. And if you're just joining us in video number four, we'll get all the projects linked so you can check them all out. All right, so this is our project today. I'll be back Thursday with this one. And let me bring my sketch back in. All right, we're catching up on, on comments again here. <laughs> Nancy says, you deserve a great vacation without any worries. Thank you. I am so looking forward to it. I have been working so hard ever since um, preparing for pres the presentation I did at Onstage. It's just been a marathon here. It's been, um, I just love my job though. I do, I love my work. So it's been a marathon though. I can't wait to just do nothing for a few days. Nancy says, I have a huge mess to clean while I'm watching you today. Well, I'll keep you company. We're here to help you. I always start with emptying the little trash bins. Then it, that kind of kicks off the cleanup. Hey, Gian, I'm glad you're here. Deep a happy Friday. All right. Um, Toby said, that would be awesome. I probably have your box. I bet you do. It's just a matter of which one it is, right? And I, no, you don't need to figure it out for yourself. Craft Fair on May 4th, fantastic. I hope you have a really bonkers day. I hope that you make awesome contacts and sell a lot. I love craft fairs, I just can't do it all. Um, hey, Julie, Julie, I feel like I haven't talked to you in a long time. Happy Friday. Um, let's see, Gail Beth, I'm glad you're here, my friend. <laughs> Gail Beth says, hi, crafty peeps. That makes me smile, sweet projects. Um, sounds like Auntie Mare has never, has never, has my never ending cough. Send her love. I will do that. Nancy says she's heard your cough and she's got it too. <laughs> oh yeah. And I don't think that the everything blooming outside is helping anybody anyways. <laughs> Nancy says I have an entire notebook of your recipes, your boxes, etc. I am so glad, my friend. I make them for me and I hope that they work for you too. All right, let me take a look. I just want to pop over on YouTube and say hello to everybody once again. Um, Rhonda's here. Yay, Rhonda. Rhonda. Oh, I hope that you're well, my friend. I'm glad to see you. Um, Christina says, congrats on the incentive trip. Have a blast. Oh, I cannot wait. All right, we can worky talky, I think but I do want to do one more thing of housekeeping. So if you're just joining me, In Color Club information will be posted, dare I say, today, but God willing. Because behind the scenes, what has to be done is, there's just so much. There's so much infrastructure that's going into this, like setting this up to be ready. And then on top of it, I'm trying to really work through all the dates because I'll be gone for the incentive trip and we're extending a little bit. Um, and I've got Card Club for Cool People that bills on the fifth of the month. And so I want to kind of spread out the color in Color Club because the in Color Club will be a five month commitment. Um, and I don't want it to be at the same time as Card Club. So working out the dates and finalizing the infrastructure is what's holding this up. But you should see the information on this soon. We have all of the details ready for you to pull off the blog and print off. So look out for that. Elena, if you're watching, let's make this title a little bit bigger to fill this space. Um, there's gonna be two levels for In Color Club, just the basics, which will include a half a pack of cardstock, one um, in color stamping pad, your color of the month, one stamp and write marker in your color of the month, one full spool of bordered ribbon, your color of the month, one six by six sheet of in color glimmer paper. So you can get a sample of that. And then the six by six in color designer series paper, your color of the month, eight sheets. That's just the basics. Then I want it all is going to include everything of just the basics plus an additional half pack of cardstock. So you'll get 24 sheets total, making a full package, 
one in color Stampin' Refill, so the refill for your ink pad, and one set of Stampin' uh, of in color Stampin' Blends, the light and the dark marker in your color of the month. So that's I Want It All. The I Want It All level will include a free gift, a full package of the Unbounded Beauty Designer Series paper in your fifth month. Both levels will include the In Color Buddies reference guidance to store and organize your swatch pages. Both levels will include the last stamp and write marker in the storage box. So in month number five, you'll get the storage box for your markers. In month number five, you'll get a full package of in color resin dots. And in month number five, you'll get a full package of in color shimmer gems at either level. Just the basics will be $50 a month, which includes either ground advantage or priority shipping. There is tracking and insurance up to $100 on that package either way. And it also, um, so it includes everything that you see there plus the shipping. So $50 a month is shipped to your door. There is no additional shipping charge on that. And then the I want it all level is $75 per month, but don't forget the extra free gift. Either level will also receive a um, creative inspiration PDF each month using these color inspirations that we've put together for you. And we'll do some teaching on how to use this book. All right, so that's in Color Club. And then our annual catalog paper sampler is coming also. The details for this will be printable. We have just the paper. So if you want a quarter of a pack of all the new papers, that's $52 and it includes shipping. It doesn't include anything else. No inspirational PDFs, so no stampa stack classes, no Zoom, no um, embellishments. At $87, we're gonna add on the Eyelet 3D embossing folder, petal pink and white trim pack, and some in-color shimmer gems, and three PDF card classes, stamp stack card classes. So all that details will be printable off of the blog later today with some sign up forms. Thank you guys for being patient with me while I figured it all out and for patience during the housekeeping. I try not to have housekeeping that long, but we have so much going on today. All right, let's see here. Um, Christina says, congrats on the incentive trip. Oh, I saw that one, thank you. Um, Ramona says, good morning, tell your sweet mama hello. I will, I'll pass it on. You're always so nice to think of her. Uh, and Margaret says, watch Sharon, and she says to drink pineapple juice that's not from concentrate and it will help with the cough. Pineapple juice that's not from concentrate. Interesting. I've never heard that before. That is, hmm. Aunt Tamara, did you hear that? Mm -hmm. I like pineapple juice. Me too. It's worth a try for sure. Um, let's see. Uh, I think I'm all caught up on comments. Let's do some embossing. All right, so this is our card sketch number four. You can download this at kitchentablestamper.com. The PDF is completely free. There's 12 of them. So go over and check it out. There's lots of good resources there for you. Uh, I want to show you this. When you watch my pre-recorded video, you'll see that this was the card that I had intended to make. It's got the layout, it's all to the right, just like it should be. This is the card that I accidentally made because I did my tag backwards. So this is where I want to say, these card sketches are completely open for your interpretation and they are meant to be an inspiration. So if you want your card to be exactly like the sketch, then you go for it. And if you're feeling mirror image, then you go for it that way. And if you want to turn it this way and let your banners hang down and rotate your images, then that's all good too. So use these sketches how you want to, whether you mean to mirror image it or it's a complete blooper. <laughs> but we're gonna go with the sketch one for this one and we're gonna make this card. I've got level number A. Oh my gosh, first of all, I called it a level, and second of all, I called it a number A. Oh my gosh. I guess it would be more like a piece. Like the piece A for this card is eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. So I've got basic beige, and we're going to layer onto that another piece of basic beige that is four by five and a quarter. So that's 
this one. Let's get the Stamp and Cut and Emboss machine and we're gonna emboss this with the new embossing folder. This is called Dotted Circles and I want you to see compared to number four how big this <laughs> embossing folder is. I'm not sure why, but I can't wait to put the size to the test and see what we can do with it. But this gives you a little idea. And we're gonna go ahead and emboss that one. <laughs> Gail Beth says you're human. Oh, right. I sure am. I'm feeling it right now because I'm um, trying to get in color club out, by the way, if you are, or, I mean, card club out. So if you are a card club for cool people, um, 49 of them are on my porch waiting for pickup. Um, and the rest will be packed today and scheduled for a pickup tomorrow. Um, with one exception, I will email my one exception. And um, Nancy, you buzz by and you can get your packet whenever you're ready, my friend. Let me know. Email me, okay? Or text me and we'll get a pickup. It's all ready for you. All right, so we're going to pop that in. I've got it kind of set so that it radiates out from the left side here so that's how i lined it up in my uh, folder and i did say before and i'll say again since i'm doing it right now when we send you a class packet for this if you take us up on the shameless bribe and you give us a 150 dollars order and we send you a packet we're going to emboss this piece for you i don't usually do embossing because for like card club it'd be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds but for this one it's a little bit more exclusive because I am asked, doing a big ask with that $150 order, and I want you to see this. So we'll go ahead and emboss that for you so you can, you can check it out um, in real life. IRL. <laughs> um, Nancy says, plus get fresh pineapple and eat the fruit with the juice. Oh, I love pineapple, you guys. Not kidding. All right, let's glue that to that and look at some comments. Make sure I'm not missing anybody. Thank you guys for joining me today. If you feel it, interact with the video, use the laugh, the heart, the thumbs up, um, share the video, subscribe if you're watching on YouTube and you're not a subscriber. Um, if you don't have notifications turned on for both platforms, turn on the notifications. Those are all things that indicate to Facebook and YouTube that you enjoy this content. It's um, engaging and then those platforms are more likely to um, share my content with people who have never heard of me before. So if you do those little things, comment, tag a friend, share, all those things are really awesome free ways that you can help the channel grow. And we'd appreciate you so much. All right, so we're gonna look at uh, piece C, D, and E. So C, D, and E from our sketch. And we have one by three, one by three and a half and one by three and three quarters, all of the in color designer series paper. And then we're going to adhere those to the card. And now we have to cut out the tag in the right manner because otherwise it'll look really janky because on the video that I did recorded, I hadn't clued my designer series paper down so I could mirror my image, but this time I can't if I do it. Ramona says that that big embossing folder is great for scrapbooking. I would love to hear what you would do with that one. I know it's kind of a bigger scale anyways, especially when you're doing 12 by 12, but what do you think? Like photo mats maybe? It would be good for photo mats, I'm sure. And when you've got anything that's six inches, then you can you know go like cut it in half and span across a 12 by 12 page and just kind of cover the the seam but what's your thoughts for using it for scrapbooking Ramona. mama l says hello just watching i'm glad you're here or just catching you i'm glad you're here um melanie says demos are hot on that basic beach i'm telling you i needed to get it because i wanted to see how it was compared to Sahara sand. Then I didn't have any Sahara sand. Thank God for Jackie and Jan and uh, all my friends who set me up with a sample and um, I could compare. But I really do like the neutral background that lets all the 
new des- or new ink colors play kind of on an equal ground, equal footing. You know, it's uh, not as stark as white. Oh, I put that in the wrong place. I love liquid glue, you guys. I can move it. Um, it's not as stark as white, but it doesn't um, make any one color look better than the others. Like if you put one of the in colors behind all of the other in colors, you know, if you put put it on pink, then it's, it doesn't leave the colors, the other colors on equal footing. You know what I mean? So I just do love it as a neutral. All right, there's our designer series papers. Now we gotta do some stamping and we're gonna do a little masking to get our You Brighten My Days greeting. Let me show you. I'm using um, the, here it is, Carnival Treats stamp set and the Bright Skies. This is a host item. You can only get this with your host rewards, 162937. That is what um, kind of inspired this offer because if you do that $150 order, you can use your host rewards to get carnival treats and I'll send you the class packet for these five projects. I loved Bright Skies font and sentiments to go with the style of the carnival treats. So all the sentiments for all my projects are from Bright Skies. But Bright Sky says, you brighten my cloudy days, which is perfect for this stamp set. It could even work with carnival treats, but I want just a more simple, you brighten my days. So we're gonna do that on some basic white cardstock with pecan pie ink. Let me get this guy going here. And because the Bright Skies is photopolymer, I'm gonna grab my Stampin' Pierce mat. So let's slide aside and get this guy. Uh, let's see here. Rhonda says it would make an interesting cover for a mini album or notebook of some sort. What really kind of sold me on it is one of the samples in the catalog. So if you are a kitchen table stamper customer, your catalogs have shipped using the mailing selector, unless you're local. If you're local, like Rhonda, um, please give me a text and let me know when you can swing by because I have a catalog for you specifically to Rhonda. I've got a small order for you and a catalog. Linda Anderson, if you're watching, I've got a order for you and a catalog, but if you're local and you want to swing by and pick one up, I've got them. All right. So I'm going to take this. You brighten my days stamp. My You brighten my cloudy days stamp and we're going to mask off cloudy days. I'm just using a three by three sticky note and I'm going to cover cloudy days. Let's see. I want to get all of the D has like a upper story and the basement on the Y. And so what I'll do is I'll cover it up from the back and then I'll flip it and I'll look and I can see from the front much easier that a little space of the sea for cloudy is still not covered. It's just easier for me to see it from the front. So I'll slide my masks over a little bit and then I'll flip it and check it. Yep, looks good. So you can see too. Now we're gonna ink up You Brighten My and Pecan Pie. Now slow down, don't bring it right to the paper, pull off the mask and just check that none of cloudy day is inked. We're gonna go kind of in the center there because I can't remember which way I need to put the tag right now. Now we've got you bright and my. We're going to clean off the stamp entirely and even give it a second to dry because we don't wanna pick up even any shadow of pecan pie ink. So I'm gonna rotate this and I'm going to bring in Shy Shamrock and Petal Pink ink. And this is just having a second. Now I need my Slurpee. What do you guys call it? Slurpee, Icy? Uh, let's see, swap this one really quick and we're gonna do um, Shy Shamrock, which is I think as close as in colors get to ecto cooler. 
and I need the whole Slurpee. I'm going to clean that one off. Diva says the texture is so cool on that embossing folder, isn't it? And it, the impression is so deep that dotted circles, 3D embossing folder. They're not joking when they say 3D. Nancy calls it a slushy. That's what um, Jackie calls it, a slushy. Uh, I call them slurpees. Ah, uh, Nancy says uh, YouTube commercials. I know I hate them, but that's why they show me to anybody because I have an uh, audience that'll make YouTube some advertising revenue. It sucks, but that's the world we live in. Ugh, I hate them too. All right. Um, Rhonda says Slurpee. Me too. I totally, that's, I know it's a 7-Eleven brand thing, but I totally Slurpee all the way Slurpee. I know that Icy is like the one you could get when I was a kid at the Kmart and I always wanted an Icy, but I called it a Slurpee. All right, we're gonna do our second Slurpee. We only need the straw and the label, so it doesn't have to be neat. We're gonna do a, uh, we're gonna Franken Slurpee in just a minute. So just the parts that we need there. Now I'm coming back to my You Brighten My, because I got a nice clean, dry stamp here. We're not gonna bring any um, shadows of of ink that have been dried. And I'm gonna go even further because I'm making this effort and I don't wanna make this effort and then um, have any ink that I don't intend to transfer. So I'm just gonna stamp off on some paper and make sure it's real clean. It's also entirely dry because your mask isn't going to stick on a wet stamp. So I just took another three by three sticky note. I've got the sticky part and now we're gonna cover you brighten my cloudy and we only need days to be exposed and so I'm gonna just add a little bit here to cover the basements to cover the basements because all we want is days unless I'm gonna have to angle just a little bit okay and then when I think I've got it and nothing else, hmm, I'm gonna be a little extra safe here. Hang on, because I think I got a piece over on the edge that's not covered. And I don't wanna make a mess on my nicely inked. You brighten my, let's see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Looks like it's all covered. And I'm going to go here to Pecan Pie, just ink up days. Now slow down. Don't bring it to the paper yet because you want to remove the mask and check that there's no ink on any of the other parts of the greeting. And then line up days. And now you've got you bright in my days nice and simple and gives you a much wider range of greetings from the same stamp set. All right. Nadine says, hi, Stampin' Friends. Enjoy the live. I'm glad you're here, Nadine. Uh, Body says, thumbs up and shared. Thank you. Here's what we're making if you're just joining us. This is shortcut card sketch number four. And we are going to... Hmm, let's build a Slurpee, then we'll die cut. So we're gonna Franken Slurpee, or Franken Slushy, or Franken Icy, what do you call them? Icies, Slurpees, Slushies, I don't know. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is just cut right along the white edge here, and we're gonna cut out this label. So I'm gonna go past the right side, down right in this white line, Cut off the label here and down past that left side. So there's the label. And we're gonna glue that on there. And you can stop here if you want to. If that's all the fussy cutting that you wanna do, you've still got a nice multicolor image there. You can just cut out your Slurpee. I want a contrasting straw too, because I'm just that crazy. So I'm gonna cut up along the straw. 
I'm going to cut off this top half of the straw first, right along the edge of the lid. And I'm gonna put that on here where I can't lose it, because that's the top part of my straw. Now on the bottom part of my straw too. And if you don't wanna do this, don't. And if you um, still want a little contrast, try maybe stamping it with a lighter color, like peach pie or um, pretty in pink, and then take your stamp and write marker in say Petunia Pop or maybe even Shy Shamrock and see if you can color over. Try it on a scrap piece first. Don't put it right on your card or anything, but see if you can just color over with a stamp and write marker to make the straw a little bit different um, contrast. See if that works. All right, so I've got my two straw pieces. I'm not gonna lose them, even though I really sincerely just lost it. There. And we're going to make this super easy. I've got my putty end. I've got my take your pick tool in two pieces. So this is the pick end. Here's the putty end. I've got my liquid glue. I'm gonna add a little dot of liquid glue on the top part of the straw and spread it around a bit. I'm gonna pick up the top part of the straw, drop it on that glue, kind of adjust it where I want it, and then use the other end of my take your pick to release the putty, and there's the straw. I'm gonna do the second, the bottom part of the straw here the same way, the tiniest little dot of glue, pick up this bottom part of the straw, touch, use the take your pick tool to release that putty and adjust to where you want it. So now I've got a contrasting straw too. And a little bit of glue here. And this guy goes right on there. We're gonna cut it out, leaving a little white border. And that's our Slurpee. There were slush puppies in the mall when I was a kid. Slush puppies, I don't know if I've ever heard of that one. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Oh, Aunt Mary says she's heard of slush puppies. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and just trim this guy out. I've got one already done by the magic of television there, and that one is um, Summer Splash. Did I call it the right name? I'm still, I'm still working hard on these in color names. And Petunia Pop. And then you can see we got the little heart detail. That one is peach pie. This one we're gonna do with summer splash. So we'll have three in colors represented on each slush puppy. <laughs> That's cute. I want a slush puppy. I want an ecto cooler one. I always liked orange and ecto cooler. I did not like cherry or the Coke flavored ones. Are you guys slushy, slurpy, uh, icy um, slush puppy fans or not and if you like them what were your, what were your flavors which ones did you like you know and oh, oh I got another question but first I want some answers what were your flavors <laughs> Rhonda says I always hated the blue flavors really I always kind of liked the blue flavors all right so there's our little heart. It's got this tiny little um, cut detail in it, which I really like about it. It's kind of a cute detail. I cut these using the hearts, um, hearts and hugs dies. Now, for those of you who do paper sampler, we're not gonna do them around sketches. It's not a sketch club this time. It's going to be a, um, I'm gonna include stamp a stack uh, videos or stamp a stack PDFs for you. Um, we're kind of going to do the same with In Color Club. So be prepared for that change. Our first In Color Club stamp a stack is going to feature hearts and hugs. Of course, you can use whatever stamps you like. All right, we've got a couple of things here. I've got my tag from TaylorMade Tags Dies. It's retiring. Oh, I'm going to miss that one. And then we've got already cut from Peach Pie, the sun pieces, and those are from the Bright Skies dies that coordinate with the greeting we're using today. So, so these are some great products that you should 
add to your order if you're considering that $150 order to help me better my best. Um, you will definitely love the Bright Skies stamp set and dies. You can still get it while it's a bundle. It's carrying over, I think, and it won't be a bundle if, I, if my memory serves me. Glue the two sun pieces together. And the tailor-made tags, last time I checked, they were still available, but they are retiring. They are worth their weight in gold. They're one of the things I'm really sad about. All right, so we need to do You Brighten My Days, and we're gonna cut it out with this little clip corner tag. Grab my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. All right, favorite flavors of Icy's or Slurpees or the flavor you couldn't stand. Make those comments. All right, I'm gonna die cut while you guys think about that. Or are you one that just never liked Slurpees, Slushies, Icy's? Maybe you don't like them. All right, this is one I need two and three. Pop this guy on there. I think that's the way I want it. We don't need a mirror image card today because I already glued down my paper. All right, this is gonna fit right in there. It's really kind of a nice match for this Franken sentiment. And let me put a little tape on there so it stays. Nancy says, I would take the kids to the movies years ago and they would mix flavors, cherry and blue raspberry. Now they play with make your own Coke machines. <laughs> That's so awesome. Well, yep, those make your own Coke machines make me happy too. I like all the fun peach ones. The peach crush and the peach Sprite and the peach mellow yellow. I love that you can add the fruit flavor to all your favorites. All right, let's give this a crank. Ah, uh, Jan says strawberry ones. Tony likes cherry and blue raspberry too. See, I like the um, cherry and blue raspberry, uh, the look of it, but I only like the blue raspberry flavor. I didn't like the cherry. Cola, not too good. We're in this, you're in good company there. I didn't like that one either. All right, so here is our, you bright my days. Isn't that just a perfect fit? Ah, uh, I just love it. I love how easy that um, the sentiments in the Bright Skies stamp set are so customizable. You can really change Sprinkled with Love to With Love and You Brighten My Cloudy Days to You Brighten My Days. And it's not hard to do either. All right, let's do, I lost my son, here it is. I think we got all of our pieces and there. We need some liquid glue, some dimensionals, and some glue dots to finish up here. Deborah says, I always love them throughout summer, cherry or cola flavor. Those were like buddy flavors too. You can mix the cherry and the cola and not, not have anything weird uh, or gross in the end, but I can tell you, sometimes the mixes weren't <laughs> weren't the best as they st the flavors started to melt together, right? <laughs> Rana says, back when I still drank sodas and Slurpees, Pepsi was my favorite. I forgot that they did that Pepsi brand ones. I knew that they were Coke, but they were Pepsi brand too. Were those Icy's or Slurpees. I don't know. It's been a very long time since I've done that kind of stuff. I can't do all the sugar either, but I do have fond memories. All right. Um, Pam says, I love crystal light pink lemonade. Yes, my 7-Eleven has crystal light. No way. I'm going to have to look next time I'm by a 7-Eleven and find out. Uh, in the summertime, we take the raspberry lemonade crystal light and um, ice and just a little bit of water, just barely enough to bring it together and make our own. No way, I had no idea, Pam. I am so glad you piped up with that comment. Thank you, thank you for being here. I'm gonna go check it out. That would make my day. You know those days when you just need a little pick-me-up? That would be a good one for it. Crystal light pink lemonade. So gonna look for it. All right, I've got some Petunia Pop Ribbon, I just cut the angles at an end, or, or the ends at an angle. 
And now I'm going to take some linen thread and I'm gonna tie a loop or tie around the loop on one end. Maybe it says we were never allowed to have one, so I don't know. Anything messy was a no-go with my mom. Oh, they could be messy and sticky. Oh, what a mess. Well, maybe you have to go go in and get a treat yourself to a Slurpee so, so so that you'll know have the experience right it is more of a like a kid experience a youth experience I'm at the end of my linen thread so I'm gonna just pull that off of there and I'm gonna get some glue dots Bonnie says love this card super cute oh good just in time for some warm weather too I really love it I really love it too. I'm having a very good time with this stamp set. It was just a must have from the very beginning for me. And doing this series has been just one of those things where um, I've, it's been good for me. I, I've been, uh, I delight in making these projects in this series. Um, I would really like to have I don't know, a whole nother year with carnival treats because there's so much you can do. There are so many things that are available. I got to show you guys what Jackie got me. I don't remember where she said she got it and I don't think she's here to answer. But so she found these little, um, oh, donuts, bubbles to go. Is it this cute? So it's a bag of bubbles and inside is a wand for blowing bubbles and they're all donut themed. She got me three different ones. So there's still the um, ice cream squirrel that has a donut in it. So you might see a bag, like a treat bag for these, but aren't those cute? There's so many things that you could do with the Carnival Treats stamp set. I wish we had another year with it, but sadly it's a host one. So while supplies last or April 30th. So, all right, there's our, oh, I forgot to put my tag on. Come on, untie. Sorry, guys. Less talky, more worky. <sighs> Slide the tag onto the thread and then tie your bow. And I'm leaving it loose because I want to put the sun behind it. So we'll put some dimensionals on the back of the tag and stick it down, but after we get the uh, sun in there. All right, so now tie that bow. I like the Crystal Light Strawberry Lemonade Drink Mix. Strawberry Lemonade Drink Mix. I'll have to look for that one. We do a, a Raspberry Lemonade one pretty regularly, but I will look out for a Strawberry Lemonade for sure. I do, that's maybe one of my uh, little guilty pleasures. I prefer Crystal Light over Pop these days, although I'm still a sucker for a Diet Dr. Pepper um, Brittany Moon, if you are watching this video or on the replay, I got the coolest little gifty in the mail. Thank you, my friend. Um, let me see here. What do I want to do first? I'm going to trim my tails because I want them to go in the towards each other kind of angle and not go past the end of the card. So we'll do that. And then I'm going to put my dimensional on my son. Come here, dude, and get this guy tucked under there. I love this sun. Talk about a cool paper embellishment. You don't have to be using clouds at all to add a cute little sun to your card. Isn't that great? All right, then we're going to add a couple of dimensionals to support the tag. And you want to watch on the back of the tag here, put it low because the sun's already on dimensionals and then one at the end will work good and then pop this down you brighten my days and we got a couple of slurpees to put on there I want to make this card and send it to my nieces and nephews for end of school with money for ices you inspired me oh yay it's such a fun one to make it really is it's a fun fun card to make pretty quick I got my two little slurpees here and if you're just joining us, I'm going to do a little housekeeping after we finish this up because I have news on uh, In Color Club. You guys have been asking if we're going to do an In Color Club. The answer is yes. 
I have a little bit of news on Card Club for Cool People April. I want to give you an update on that. And I have a little bit of news on our paper sampler. So I'll give you a little housekeeping after we finish this up. So if you've already seen it at the beginning, then this is your warning that I'm going to just go back over it again in case anybody just joining us is interested in information about those things. We are definitely on for a paper sampler and it's going to be a little different from the last four um, and we are definitely on for an in color club and we have an amazing new resource for you that will be included with card club for our club members all right before we can call this done it needs a little sparkle so let's get our dingles here uh, when i send the make and take packet for the Help Me Better My Best Shameless Bribe offer. You're going to get um, two of each color designer series paper. You're gonna get two feet of each color um, in color ribbon, and you're going to get one strip of the large and one strip of the small embellishment. So you'll get a little in color product sampler with your class packet also. So just a little a little something extra. Let me bring in my mirror image card here. So this one's got the pretty and pink. This one's got the shy shamrock. So we're gonna do the peach pie on this one. Just add a little sparkle here. And there is our You Brighten My Days card. That is video number four out of a five part series. I'll be back next week on Thursday at two central. And we're gonna make the last of the coordinating projects, the um, With Love candy box. This is, holds a sleeve of this cotton candy bubble gum. If you missed video number three, we made this fun pencil sleeve, and this is one of our challenges in the craft social, so go check out all the um, amazing challenges for this box also. This was video number two in the series and another one of our challenges. The first video in the series was the matching Sprinkled with Love card. And these are the five projects that your make and take packet will include with treats and the in color sampler. The treats are while supplies last. MarissaAlvarez.stampinup.net. Place a $150 order. Redeem your host rewards for carnival treats, the host stamp set, and I'll send you the class packet. Now, very quickly in color club look out for information to join the in color club later today god willing we are working very hard behind the scenes setting up all the infrastructure to take your um, sign ups this is the color buddies reference guide it will be included at either level of in color club so there's two levels you can join at and this um, sheet will be part of that blog post where you can print it $50 a month for just the basics, $75 per month for I want it all. And by the end of the five month club, you'll have all the new in colors and a whole bunch of inspiration and you'll build yourself a beautiful resource for using those in colors, not just with the in colors, but with your whole collection of existing core colors and there will be a um, inspirational PDF, so something crafty that you'll get to practice with using those. So you'll get your each month, your sheets for your reference guide and a PDF with some projects that you can use to uh, practice the, the color combination that we've got going on. All right, so that's In Color Club. Look for sign up soon if you are a kitchen table stamper email subscriber we'll be sending this out by email and you can check out kitchen table stamper.com later for all the information and then our annual catalog paper sampler if you guys joined me for the um, celebration one this is going to be like that if you join the annual catalog paper sampler at um, the paper plus level just the paper is just the paper it's $52 Paper Plus includes some embellishments, three PDF card classes that we are going to do on a Zoom craft along. 
All right, so that is our paper sampler. It's gonna be kinda like we did for watercolor melon and the um, jungle pails, where you got the PDFs in it as, and then ahead of time, and then we got together to craft and make those, those projects. So that's how the paper sampler is gonna work this, this year. Um, we are going to feature, just so that you've got a heads up, citrus blooms, country birdhouse, and painted lavender bundles but you can use any stamp sets that you love with these ideas. All right, so that's the housekeeping for today and the project for today. If you guys have any questions, reach out to look out for all the information posting soon. Elena and I are working hard behind the scenes and we are looking forward to In Color Club and the Paper Sampler. Both have got me just really jazzed. Uh, let's see here, can I get the kit and stamp set, how do you get the host sets? Pam, that is a fantastic question. You'll go to marissaalvarez.stampinups.net and then click on shop. Choose any um, products, $150 or more makes you the host. So you can place the whole $150 yourself or you can ask a friend to go in on with you, but the order has to be $150. It can be just your own. Once you get to that $150 mark, then host rewards open up to you on your order and you'll just add item number 162937 and redeem with the host rewards. If you want some help with your order, you can just reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you uh, or walk you through placing that order. So just place it like an order online if you've done that before. But once you get to that $150 mark, you can add the carnival treats using host rewards. And if you do that at marissaalvarez.stampinups.net, I will see that you place that order and I will automatically send you a class packet. For everybody who is um, already done taking advantage of this offer, there has been so many of you and I'm so grateful, thank you. Look out for your packets towards the end of May. Because of the limited quantities that we can order of these products right now, I can't get enough quantity of basic beige or ribbon or embellishments to make these packets up based on our quantity limits. So I have to place another order May 1st, and then when I get home from the incentive trip, we'll be cut and packing and mailing these out automatically to your address on record of Stampin' Up, all right? <laughs> All right, let's see here. Margaret says, loved it, thank you. And she says, never too young for a slurry, just can't drink it all, right? I like to make my own out of crystal light at home, but now I'll be looking for the crystal light ones at 7-Eleven. All right, let's see here. Mimi, girl, you need Slurpee and Play-Doh, right? Oh, Mimi, you weren't allowed to have Play-Doh either, I bet, anything messy. I. I was um, on occasion given Silly Putty, and that was usually to everyone's regrets. Uh, try getting Silly Putty out of the carpet. Just saying, if you try Silly Putty in a Slurpee, keep it away from the carpet. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love, Fri I love Fridays with you guys. We're doing Thursday next week at 2 p.m. live. We'll finish up the series. And yeah, that's it, you guys. I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you for joining me. Uh, let's see here. I'm popping over to Facebook real quick before I go out. Margaret said, loved it. Thanks. That's my pleasure. Um, I can't see my YouTube comments. That's unusual. Usually it's um, YouTube that I have trouble with. Oh, Tony says, such memories and fun, right? Dr. Pepper is my favorite soda when I drink it. You and me both. And I'll great projects fun as always thank you no thank you thank you guys for spending some time with me today have a fantastic weekend if you've got questions about in color club paper sampler if you want to take and collect the in colors but pace yourself in color club is for you if you've got questions reach out email me marissa at kitchen table stamper.com put in color club in the subject line and we'll get your questions all straightened out you got questions about the paper sampler. The paper sampler is a great way to get a quarter of a package of all the papers so that you can decide with the actual paper in your hands if you want a full pack. But you get the enjoyment of being able to use every single one of them. So paper sampler is a one-time thing. And then monthly in color club for five months. Oh, and card club for cool people. Last update before I go. Everybody's card club with the exception of one 
and I will email Marianne. I'm sorry. Um, I will email you and let you know, but everyone's is either out on the porch right now waiting to be picked up or will be uh, picked up tomorrow. I had to get some more envelopes. I know I'm hanging the curtains of shame, but um, Card Club for April is done and out the door. You have access to the content now, whether you, whatever level you're at, if you have any questions about get, accessing the content for the tools, um, Card Club for Cool People, reach out to us, but it's been emailed out to you and you have access to that. And um, May, we're going to feature a little latte and I'll give you guys some sneak peeks of that coming soon. All right, guys, have a great weekend. Thanks for putting up with all the housekeeping. I have a lot going on behind the scenes. I'll see you guys next week. Have a great day. Good weekend. Happy crafting. I'll see you next week.